First of all, we have to realize that living in the present moment, focusing your mind to the present moment is not a simple thing. It is very hard, but also it is an achievable target. Our great teacher, Supreme Buddha taught us, you should not chase after the past. And also you should not make too much expectations about the future. Supreme Buddha said, what is past is left behind. It is gone. It is over. Now the future is yet to come. It hasn't reached yet. Buddha said, yo, what you have to do is live in the present moment and see the present moment as it is, right? Realize the present moment as it is. So it is very hard to focus your mind to the present moment. Our great teacher, Supreme Brother, taught us the nature of the mind is it always runs to the past. Normally, our mind has a habit to wander in the past memories, right? When we are alone, when we are solitude, and we, when we live in our life alone, lonely. Normally, it is the nature. Our mind runs to the past. It lives in the past. Memories, thinking about them. Sometimes you may regret about them. Sometimes you may be happy about them. Sometimes you may cry about them, right? So that is the nature of our mind. It is always wandering in the past. And also sometimes our mind try to make expectations, too much expectations about the future, right? People dream too much about their future, but they do not work for the dreams to come true. So our great teacher, Supreme Buddha, taught us you should not let your mind to wander in the past as well as you should not let your mind to go for the future and make too much expectations about that. What you have to do is you have to work in the present moment to make your future better as well as to make your past better. Because when you live correctly in the present moment, right, your past will be a good one because you have lived in the correct way. And also, if you are sure that you are living correctly in the right way in the present moment, your future will be also a good one because you are doing the right thing right now. So you need to have a good practice to focus your mind to the present moment. So it should be practiced by meditation as well as it should be practiced in the practical world in your life. So I will teach you some tricks or things that you should practice in your life to be in the present moment, right? So when you have a free time, right? Dedicate yourself to live in the present moment for a little time during the day. When you have the free time, allocate your time about five minutes to live in the present moment. Sit on a chair. You can close your eyes and just experience that you are in your present. You are not in your past. You are not in your future. Always. You are in your, in your present. That is the reality, right? The past has gone as well as the future hasn't come yet, right? So close your eyes and just try to focus your mind to the present moment. Try to think about what you, what you feel, what you hear, and what you think about all the things that you experience now will fade away to the past. And it will be, it will go into the arena of past, right? So take your time in the day and practice this. The best way to focus your mind to the present moment is the breathing meditation. Breathing meditation is one of the best meditations that you can bring your mind from the arena of past and the future to the present moment because the breath, when you're, when you're focusing on your breath, right, always, the breath arises and it goes down. So this breath prevails in the present. So when you focus that, when you focus your mind to the breath, then your mind is always in the present moment. And also you have to practice to live in the present moment in your practical life, in your day-to-day -day life. So how to do that? So it is very beneficial to live in the present when you are in the hard times, when you are going through a problem. Now, suppose if a person comes to you and started blaming you now when he is blaming, use you hear that sound, the words, right? When we think about these words, right? When he is blaming you, hear that. And after that very moment, it has gone to the arena of past. Those words are not prevailing anymore, right? But our mind does not like to think that our mind clings to those words, right? Our mind tries to hold on to those words. And what our mind does is it always make a loop-like thing to bring back all those thoughts, all those words again and again to our mind. And that is why we are suffering. That is why we feel hurt, right? If we can realize the reality that all these words that, that I heard has gone to the past, they are not no longer here anymore. They are vanished then you don't want to suffer for anything, right? Because it has gone to the past. 
You cannot do anything about that, but our mind is not ready for that, right? Our mind tries to cling to those words, right? So what you have to do when someone blames you, when you are going through a hard time, realize that, that these, all those things are impermanent and it is, it vanishes very quickly. My life, so I don't want to worry about them, right? So if you are living in the present moment correctly, doing the correct thing, doing the right thing, doing good things, you don't want to worry about the past as well as you don't want to worry about the future. Of course, you can, you can make the plans for the future, no problem, but do not dream too much about it. Because the more we dream, it is like we are stopping our vehicle and just looking at towards the road without driving, right? The movie dream. We feel jealous about the achievers that, who achieve our goals, right? So it is like you are stopping your vehicle on the road and looking, the, the looking at the vehicles that pass by. You're not driving, right? You can, you can make your plans, you can make your goals, but do not dream too much about it. Just start work for it, working for it, right? So the dream becomes a goal when you are working on it only. So if you can live in the present, doing the correct thing, doing what should be done now, you don't want to worry about the past as well as you don't want to worry about the future. So in that way, you will have a life without regret and without worrying about the future and the past and live your life in the present moment and be happy by your life.